What's up, guys? I'm Shane, and welcome back to our Monmouth Hawks Prestige Dynasty. Before we hop into these games, and I lied in the last episode, I got the games backwards, but it's okay. Uh, we're going to take a quick look at recruiting. So, Michael Brown, we're pulling away from Wake Forest. They're just getting points because he's on their board, but they're not actively going after him. So, getting him would be huge. I'm still going to leave Hudson on here just in case, because I can still also deal with a 61 overall. Like, that would still be pretty good. I mean, 79 speed, 76 excel, 79 power, 71 accuracy. I mean, terrible. He's a 6'6 overall quarterback, but I mean, hey, it's an improvement. We got, what, a 50 right now? That's that's a 16-point swing right there. Nate May, the fullback. We're going to go after him because I do want to get a fullback. Is he, what is he at? 71 speed, 83 excel. Not the best. But fullback gets play in this playbook, so we're definitely going to need one of them. Wide receiver, it's, I mean, the 57 overall. We might be able to catch him, but I'm not I'm not too worried about it. This tight end, I can go ahead and take you off the board, actually. And Harrison, I think we can catch Temple. Yeah, they're not actively going after him, so we can, we can catch Temple on here for sure. That's not that big a deal. 57 overall isn't great, but I'll, I'll take it. 71 speed, 72 excel. Still slow, but remember, our... Uh, Strong Mad right now is 51 speed. So a drastic improvement there. Offensive line, it looks like it's going okay. Peter Clark is our backup option at tackle. But I'm I took some points from Raymond there because I was trying to scout some other prospects. Uh, we have the lead on all of these guys. I'm hoping we can pull away. We Like we just jumped Wisconsin. Basically, they're not offering him any points. That's the only reason that we're able to pull away with him. Allen, we're just throwing some points at him. We're pulling away from Utah pretty well. The kicker, we got a lead. I'm not sweating it. I'm sure if we don't get him, like we can probably find one later. And in the cornerbacks, is Western Kentucky going after this guy? I hit, I hit the button too many times. No, we're catching Western Kentucky. We took the lead on Billy Johnson. We got Anderson, we got Doty, but we got the lead on Doty because we were already first on this board. So, I don't know. I guess I'd rather have Anderson, but it, it doesn't matter. We'll worry about that later because I don't have points. And then I started looking at some linebackers, so not too impressive except for John Thomas here. Where'd he end up? He's a plus six gem. 62 overall middle linebacker, 61 outside linebacker. I'm kind of okay if we only get two linebackers and letting like uh, letting Chuck Schilling sort of keep playing middle linebacker because if he has a few more, you know, if all of his games are as consistent right there, I mean, he's going to have the easiest path to getting the Deshaun Gaddy Award. So that'd make him like a 50-something overall, so it wouldn't, it wouldn't be bad. So this is what I got it wrong. I thought it was North Texas and TCU this episode, but it's in fact our first game with Buffalo in the line war. And then the second half will be against North Texas. Now, Shaky Bards, obviously, but they're a much worse team than Casper. I'm not necessarily confident we can get a victory here because, again, like, look at our overalls. But I think... I don't know. We might... We, we, we only lost by 21 to Casper. So maybe we can keep it close with Buffalo. If we happen to win one of these next two games... Then I'm going to go immediately to J-Kid Sliders, probably. Or the other ones, the Sim Sliders, I think is what they were called. I'll switch over to those. And if we lose both games, then I'm going to probably stick with 50-50 for the year. Nope, all still having trouble. <laughs> just All he's trying to do is get to the 20. A touchback is the 25. Like He's just trying to get almost a touchback, and he can't even manage that. Okay, that pitch was not the right. I should have just taken the hit. Okay. All right, had to throw away that last one. Third and seven here. Coach wanted a curl play. Let's see. Oh, yeah. The, oh, what? Never mind. Stratton put the ball on the ground. We got the first down, though. And Stratton's down hurt after that, too. So that's our fullback? No, that's our, wide, that's our halfback. Lined up a tight end. He got popped pretty good. Oh, no. 
not Stratton. Now instead of the 45 overall halfback, we'll have to go to the 44. That actually is kind of upsetting because he, he's, he's been pretty good for us, actually. All things considered. Mm. Oh my god, he toe-tapped. Was that? I think that was Schilling on coverage there, too. It wasn't terrible coverage. I actually have no idea if he got his foot in bounds, let alone how he got his foot in bounds. Do I challenge it? No. It did look like he dragged his feet. Like, I'm not gonna... I'm not confident enough that he was definitely out of bounds on that. Like, maybe I'll be wrong. But we'll never know. There we go. Hall got himself past the 25. Yeah, they just... I had the pitch open. I just... I don't want to just throw it and, like, have him, like, knock it down and me fumble it. I'd probably be doing well if I was, like, an expert at running the triple option, but I'm the complete opposite. Oh, my... Oh, we didn't have a chance. I don't care how good you are. There, there wasn't a chance on that one. That's why I want to go for offensive line, though. If we can get that initial push up front and be decent, like... We can get these triple options sort of going. Oh, right. We're slow. I'm like, oh, we got to step. No. Stratton made that whole big deal, and he's just got elbow bursitis. Like, it looked like he broke his arm. I thought that was the end of him for the series. Come on, Sherman. There, I don't... Oh, I did get the credit for that one. 47. Now we'll keep the 44. That's okay. He, he threw that away in, like, instantly. Okay. Oh, dang it. The problem is, like, they can... Oh, and there's a face mask, too. If he waits long enough, all of their guys are faster than our guys by probably 10, 15 points. Even our quarterbacks have a little bit of speed. Like, they're still going to outrun them. We called the right defense for that and everything. But we can't afford to only rush three linemen. Because we'll never get through. And in the corner, same guy. Franczak has put two touchdowns up on us now. <laughs> okay, we might get mercy ruled <laughs> before the half's even over. Oh, oh, Hall going! He got that to the 40 right there. Strong Mad's arms are glitching out. That's a problem. I noticed that with a couple of the creator teams. I saw a little bit on Casper, too, with the new update. Is depending on their body type, like, their arms will separate. Where is Strong... Do they... Do we not play tight ends out here? Is that what's happening? Oh, I meant to... I'm so used to not holding the button down on the triple option. Like, it's never going to the halfback, and it should have gone to the halfback. <laughs> I went to pitch it, and I, I was behind the guy I was going to pitch it to. They are just not... 39, what was that? He didn't even block. He just engaged nobody. I mean, the ball was accurate. We, we had to take a shot further. I mean, it was fourth and 17. We had to sort of take that shot. I got blocked. They got blocked. He's gone. Yep. Mm. Buffalo was handling us more than Casper did. <laughs> 20 overall points worse than them. Okay. Oh, my God. That's only the end of the first quarter. <laughs> it's not going great for us. I'm going to start passing the ball a little bit here because the triple option is getting shut down. Where is Strong Mad? I can't do this. I can't scramble. I've scrambled to my left. I've been scrambling to my right for four years on this channel. I have to scramble to my left with him. There we go. There is. There's like a little, like... There's a point where you can pitch it before you get hit. Okay. I mean, they're one score from, like, mercy ruling us, so I can take some risks here. Imagine that with a halfback who could actually run. 
Oh. F Dang that guy. <laughs> oh, man. That wasn't a bad pass. That guy just played it really well. All right. Well, even if they get a field goal, that'll be four to score. So, like, if they score here, which they should, then that's mercy rule and that's, that's ball game. Oh, no. Not again. Don't give him three. Okay, good. We tackled him. There, I like the idea that every week it's just going to be a different player on the opposing offense who's going to go off, and we're just going to have, like, after five games, five people who have played us in the Heisman list. Oh, no. They let Heinz put us. Okay. That's the mercy roll right there. At least it wasn't a third touchdown to the tight end. Well, we got not even halfway through the second quarter on this one, and that's that's the ball game already. Let's see what we do on the sim. Maybe maybe the computer will do better than me. I doubt it. <laughs> we put up a touchdown during the sim, but uh, we lost 51-7. to seven. Final stats, Williams, 9 of 28, 134 yards, one touchdown, one pick, took two sacks. Jeez, Reese came out here one for three for ten yards. Rushing, ooh, I'm, I'm, I'm just moving on. Dennis, three catches, 44 yards, and the only touchdown today. Morgan, three for 55. Jones, two for 24. Bailey, one for 12 is basically a big one. Stratton had one for nine. He fumbled it away, got hurt. And did he see the field again? I don't think he did. Bauman gave up both. He's given up four sacks in two games. It's all his fault. It's definitely not me with a left-handed quarterback scrambling to the right. Chuck Schilling leading the team again. Five more tackles today. And you know what? Hall, Austin, also five TFLs. Or TFLs, regular tackles. The first sack in program history was by Austin on a sim. So it doesn't count. Clark swatted a pass, except he's a left tackle. That's how that's going. Hey, Hall with 117 yards on kick returns. So he's on pace to average 1,200 yards returning. Uh, he doesn't have any punt returns yet this year. All right, well, that's about how I thought the Casper game would go. So that's awful. So let's go play North Texas. Maybe maybe our luck will change down in Denton. Or do they come in us? No, I think I'm going... I can't remember. We'll find out in a minute. Oh, we had recruits visiting today. Ah, we had that quarterback. I was supposed to try and pass for 250 yards. Man, we were so close. Okay, yeah, those visits didn't go well. <laughs> they picked up 100 points each to them. And we got a bunch of other people ready to come and visit this week. The offensive linemen are looking to be impressed. I got bad news for them. So we are playing home for North Texas. I thought we were going to Texas, but we're going there. I was originally trying to make a Texas road trip because I had North Texas, TCU, and Texas all on the schedule. But I couldn't get them as three consecutive games. I just, for some reason, thought it'd be funny if we just hung out in Texas for a month. So I don't think those visits helped us too much. We have an 1,100 point lead on this guy though. Leaving the fullback has increased. We're picking up on Harvey here without, I'm gonna offer him a scholarship because I do want him. Mm. Tight end, we got the lead. Yeah, again, like no one's really gonna be fighting over 57 overall. But that'd be a massive improvement. Even though tight end, for some reason, didn't see the field for us. So this tackle... So I want to offer you... Now it's tough. It's like, because Johnson is clearly the superior option. But if Clark switches over and gains three points, he'd be a better guard. All right, I'm just going to commit to these five. I'm going to take your points away. I'm going to take Johnson's points away. I'm going to keep throwing with the tackle. Johnson could be a backup option. I think... Do I risk it? Let's look at the stats. Hold on. Let's look at the actual stats. So 75, 74, 72. Oh, yeah. No, okay. Johnson's is better at blocking. Never mind. Okay. Problems. I took the points away from the wrong person. Yeah, we're just not... We're not going to go after him. We'll just leave him on the board as a backup option. Ah, we're not going to get Thompson, Thomas here, huh? We're at 1,000 points. Out. USF's already going after him. Damn. Okay, we'll take him off the board. Uh, we will go after Henry here. I'm not going to scout anyone just yet. I mean, I can take Allen's points away, actually. I keep forgetting, like, we're, there's not going to be a fierce competition for some of these guys. 
Like, Outlaw, we might have thought for a couple points. But, like, Alan, we got him a scholarship. We're already 1,400 points ahead. Like, we got him in the bag. I ain't worried about it. I can throw those points towards someone else. All right. Now let's schedule some visits here. You guys can all come in this week because I might as well just get it out of the way. Because it's just basically let's sign these people as fast as possible. Northwestern is trying to schedule you for a visit. Okay, we're going to need those points now. They wait until the end of the season, though. Joke's going to be on them. I'm getting bonus points for the complimentary visit. We're about to get smoked, but look at how this offensive line is going to basically benefit each other. This might be a good week. They're all getting offered 500 points? Dude, I might. If we pull the upset off here, actually, we're going to sign all those offensive linemen. And my my all of my scouting points are going to be free. I mean, I don't think it's going to happen because they're 10 points better than Buffalo was. I'm not worried about... I can't do anything to impress the recruits. Like, I really can't. We can't run the ball. Maybe I'll just try passing it a bunch and see if that works out. Also, I'm going to go with the alternates because... Might as well go for two different ones. I just forgot what the buttons were for this game for a second. I was holding down X to sprint. That is not, that's never been the button combination here. All right, we're gonna come out swinging here. Good, good catch, Dennis. I forgot to put it on conservative catch. Strong Mad's out here. Strong Mad, go run on a streak. I wanna see how slow you move. He's got one-on-one! -on -one. He's so slow it didn't... <laughs> it is. It's like an offensive lineman running. Like, he ran so slow, the guy backpedaled and kept up with him. Why do I feel like my three wide receivers on the right are going to run into each other on this? They didn't. They left four to all the room in the world, and we overthrew them. If I had a good team, those all would have been completions. Well, he didn't break the tackle. Hey, Damon Ward's still kicking around. Oh my god, it's Austin on at quarterback, too. Even a year into this, I thought he was... Oh, that's right, he's only a junior. Yo, Damon Ward, we, um... He used to drop every pass we threw at him. To the point where, like, when I did the whole flashback... Because anyone who had never watched North Texas series... I did not actually do, like, the whole, like, little cards for every single player at the end of each year. What I did was, after the series finale, I went through, and I think it was, like, a five or ten minute montage of all of the impact players, not impact, but, like, all of the, like, key players that we had along the way, and sort of, like, made up their career going. But I was trying to get their screenshots in Madden, because most of them, like, storyline-wise, they went pro, except for Damon Ward, because he was terrible. So I pretended that he would transfer to UTSA. I went to go get a screenshot of him. And no joke, the first pass I threw at him, he dropped. So in the picture I used for his storyline, he was dropping the ball. So that's... Like, I know a lot of these guys because they were... They were around on North Texas when I did them four years ago. The fact that On's out here just making us look foolish is very insulting. Number one overall pick once upon a time for us. I still don't know how he managed that kind of player progression, but he did. Jair Shorter, Roderick Burns, pretty sure those guys got cut for us almost immediately. Chuck Schilling saving a touchdown. Chuck Schilling saving another touchdown. So this is game number three for us. Um, Schilling, I think, is easily the front runner. For the Sean Gaddy Award. Because no one else has really done anything. Like, I thought Dawson Hall would be a shoe-in because I figured on kick returns he could eat it up. Shilling again! I don't think he got credit for it because he broke off. But he killed him. Taz Buckshank getting the TFL on that one. But Shilling was right there. He's killing it, man. Chuck Shilling. I am so glad, bud, that you wanted your player cut and didn't finish off on Casper. He would have had no stats whatsoever. He would have been a forgotten entity. And here he goes again. Chuck Schilling. Drawing a flag, though. What's the flag? Oh, a clipping call. Uh-uh, we're going to deny that one. No thanks. They want us to accept it? No, we're going to decline that one. Mm -mm. We're not going to give him another shot. Chuck Schilling, four tackles, one TFL. First drive.
by himself holds them to a field goal. All right, let's try a little screen pass here. Stratton's out here. Oh, Strong Bad's out here again. Okay, so the problem with the gray jerseys is I, when they all get into a crowd, I can't tell who's us and who's them. Well, we picked up a yard. That's our first yard in the day. Strong man, truck a dude. Nope, he got a catch though. Fourth and four, I feel like. We're still on our own 20, we gotta punt this. I need 250 pass yards for these offensive linemen. I'm at three. Oh, that uh didn't go great. Hey, you know, at the end of the first quarter, it's only three nothing. I'll take it. I'll take it. We have to drag him down. Who's that? Is that Taz? I haven't memorized the jersey numbers yet. I should have given them, like, distinguishable jersey numbers because... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was Buckshank. Schilling got an assist. I mean, I don't know if he'll get credit for it, but... Again, he's not he's not fast. No one on his team is fast, but he he tries. Ooh, it was a screen. Oh, we uh, we didn't we didn't stop him. Attaway. Oh, he's not the starter. Another player that we cut. <laughs> like I feel bad because all of the North Texas starters because we were putting together good recruiting classes. We just cut all of them. I'm gonna put Strong Matt on a slant. There we go, big fella getting a catch. Leah, see there's like gap in his shoulders right there where you can see right through. I don't know if I can like fix that. Maybe I'll make him drop like 50 pounds in between games or I don't know. Like I said, I think it's something with the team builder teams because Casper had it a little bit too. Quick slant there, Bagley picking up a first down. Four of seven for 16 whole yards. Hey, you know what? He's over 50% completion percentage. Oh my god, how did Bagley get that? Oh my god. I don't know how that safety missed it. It went right through his hands. Bagley's little five foot five self scooping that one up. We're in scoring range. Oh, Smith undercut that one. Which Smith is that? Is that one of the ones I'm used to? Can we get him down? I just genuinely, I thought he was going in a different direction. It's so weird so, the way some of these players are on the depth chart, though, because, like, Edward Batista was a linebacker for us, which actually that name request came directly from him because they found the series, and he's like, I want to be in here. So I put him at linebacker because that's what he said he was, and then uh, now every time I see the updated rosters in here, they got him listed at fullback. So I don't know if he's playing two positions, and that's just sort of where he's at right now. We'll take the clipping call, thanks. I don't really know. Casper College up to number eight in the country and barely beaten Old Dominion. But Temple just took down Clemson. Okay, we, we're already in the wonky area of this dynasty, and it's only year two. He's taking off, and he's not getting very far. Can't believe I'm going to have to set a goddamn QB spy for Austin on, of all people. Chuck Schilling trying to get the crowd pumped up. All six people who are here. And we stop him short. Take a timeout. We're going to afford them the punt. So usually I play punt block safe because I want to block the punt, but I've been burned before. But if they go for it here, like if they go for fake, it doesn't matter. We're not going to... Wow. Dawson Hall has intimidated their punter into kicking away from him. Ah, uh, Morgan had his hands on it and got popped. That's a tough catch. I'm not going to get mad at him for it. Uh, Hitch Corners exists in this playbook. I didn't see that coming. We missed him by 10 yards. Even with 50 accuracy, we're missing these guys like it was 5 accuracy sometimes. I'm going to pat myself on the back. I was beautifully predicted. I, right when he made the cut, that ball was coming out. That should have been an easy one. Stratton has the most reliable hands on the team. They're taking a timeout. That's cute. 36-yard line. Do I just go for it here? I, 
kind of want to go for it because they'll never see it coming. Okay, and we threw it behind Clark that time. He was wide open. He made his cut. But I timed it wrong, apparently. I think that was just all on me. I genuinely think we could go like three and nine, four and eight next year. Just with slight improvements. Because I feel like me on offense anyways, like I've improved enough. Like the idea is there, but I'm still... There's like the transition period for me where... I was playing with a 99 overall monster team, blowing out everyone by like 45 points. To now going to playing with a walk-on dynasty, but I can't remember in my head. Like, that was, I played that zone coverage perfectly. Except I was too damn slow to actually get there. They're still running, hurry up. They don't need to, there's 51 seconds and you got, what? You got one timeout, okay. Shoot, he took off and I'm like, I saw it and there was nothing I could do because I'm slower than Austin on. Ooh, that was a good cut. And I ran into a guy and it's, I managed to keep going. Hall with a 30 yard return right there. All right, give me some deep shots there, coach. Or, you know what, strike seam. This is one where I did it last time and he got popped and he didn't catch it. There we go. And he got out of bounds too. Oh, it's my traditional four verts. I didn't know this was in the playbook. Oh, that was that. Okay. That's where the lack of arm strength comes into play. Cause he was wide open. Yeah. Just if you could improve my quarterback by 16 points when we got right now, I'd be killing it. Like, look like that right there, right there. That's also the wide receiver needing to be better, but I don't think I'm going to get any good wide receivers. I, th which I guess is okay because like, I don't need the best wide receivers in the world. Dawson Hall is out here playing double duty because he's my fifth string wide receiver. I might convert him over to wide receiver next year, depending on how it goes. They're like, we're going to double cover. Oh, that, that was way off. That was so bad that he dropped the ball. <laughs> And it fell so slowly, he still had to scoop it up. Hall was coming wide open again. Like, that was an easy pass. And that's where the low accuracy comes into play. Because he missed him by a mile. I love that I'm like, oh, we're going to maybe make it through the full game. And now we still might get mercy ruled in the first half. Oh, my God. Thank God he can't run. Well, no, because if they get a field goal, we don't get mercy ruled, actually. So we're okay. We're okay. They'd have to score a touchdown, which is a possibility. But they're probably going to run a draw play or something dumb. They're running the clock out. Oh my God, we got our first sack. And it's Joshua Sherman. The, the other sack doesn't count because it was off camera. So the first on camera sack goes to Joshua Sherman. All right, it's always the right end. Schilling, drop back. Because you need a head start in order to stop that ball. Thank you. And Williams with the pick. Damn, that, that little quick drive there for North Texas did not go well. They thought it was, but they we got a sack, we got a pick. If we had cornerbacks in, they'd be impressed, but we're going to the halftime only down 17 0 in North Texas. It should be a lot worse. It would have been hilarious if they scored on the kickoff. And that just would have been it. I'm a control. Oh my god, that guy sprinted the other way. Oh, it was a screen pass. Okay, thank god. There was nothing I could have done to defend that one then. I'm like, let me also use this opportunity to try and get better at defending like tight ends and wide receivers since we're terrible anyways and I have room for mar- Like, there's a margin for error because you guys aren't expecting anything out of me anyways, let alone with this overall team. That was way too close to a face mask there, bud. That was way too close. Oh, Sherman getting the TFL. He's having himself a day too. Well, Hall got beat, but I mean, they, they didn't get enough for first down, so it's okay. The game continues on. The fact that the only incompletion Austin on has thrown today has been the pick on the Hail Mary. They left Bagley wide open. 23 yards on that one. Let's freaking go. 65 yards on the day for him now. I don't, I don't think we can get to 250 yards, but we're at 109. 
Oh, I didn't see that guy come sprinting in. I'm like, let me give the big man. <laughs> Just let me pick up three yards with him. He was on a drag route. He stood in front of you and you, you still missed him. That was almost there. Well, I buy Skater Glitch Hall. That's all right. We stopped him before the first. QB draw. Nice try. I mean, he gets the first, but still. Come on, Shelling. There we go. I don't think he's gotten a tackle since, like, that first drive. I think he... Oh, no, he's got six tackles now. Okay, he did get one. Three games in, 17 tackles on the season. Pretty good. Pretty good. He almost ran into Sherman. He ran around everyone. He's gone. That's ball game right there. That's the mercy <laughs> rule. Well, we made it through three quarters. Ragsdale getting player of the game. But not the stat lines that we usually give to these people. I like the alternate helmets. I'm not a big fan of either of the alternate jerseys, though. So you probably won't see those as much. Like, at least Casper had those nice black jerseys. All right, final status on the day. 13 to 30 for 148. No touchdowns, three picks. There's that meltdown game I've been waiting for. Um, I was also passing the ball a lot more, so that's probably why. There were a lot of passes that were almost there. Like, 250 would have been doable if he was a little better. Oh, he's gone, already gone up a point this year. He was a 50, now he's a 51. Okay. Rushing, there's still... I didn't try to run. Like, I didn't... I wasn't trying. So, 3 for 26 for Morgan. 3 for 65 for Bagley. Stratton, 3 for 23. Strong Mad, 2 for 12. So, his first stats on the year. 4 to 1 for 5. Hall, 1 for 17. And I, he, he was so close to the other one. We just missed him by a mile. He would have been open on that one, too. Shilling with 9 tackles. Yeah, he, he's, uh, he's, he's a dangerous man here. Jenkins with 6. But look at this, on the sim, Sherman picked up another sack. So three TFLs, two sacks. He was killing it, too. Schilling got two TFLs, though. Like, it, I, it's just out of control. And Buckshank got another one. Desmond Williams got that pick on the Hail Mary. Hall with another 81 yards on kick returns. Oh, Bagley got one, that's why. I'm like, there should have been another one in there. All right, well, that's our first shutout we've had this season. So that's a little unfortunate. I think this game's run. This episode's running a little short. So what we're gonna do, just real quick, we're gonna jump forward. We're gonna see. I don't think we signed anyone this week, but if we signed our first recruit, I want to make sure it's done on camera. So we're just gonna jump forward and see how the visits went and see how we're our recruiting board's looking. All right, and I'm glad I did that, though not for who I thought. So Michael Brown, the quarterback that I was hoping that we got, easily, we already got him signed. It's week five, and we got him wrapped up. The offensive lineman picking up 200 points apiece. That's okay. We got a couple other people ready to visit. The tight end only got 100 points. That's all right. I, th I think we're looking good. I think we can't get anyone. We're going to have number three TCU here. There's no way we pull off the upset here, but I mean, if we did, it would help out Casper. So that, that'd be nice. Oh, they dropped number four. Washington's number one. There's Georgia. There's Michigan. The Big Ten. Big 12. SEC. SEC. Oh, Miami, the ACC team. And then, of course, Casper with no one in the Pac-12. Big 10 SEC, Big 10 <laughs> ACC. Like, this is how it's going to be in a couple of years. Like, that's how it's going to be. And Notre Dame floating around there. San Diego State because, I mean, they're, they were trying to go to the Pac-12. Like, they were working on that. And then changed their mind. And that, that seemed to be a good decision. Because it would just be like them, Washington State and Oregon State, just farting around over there. Okay, and nobody we played is actually in the Heisman consideration. Okay, good. I thought I thought that's where it was going. All right, so I can clear this. So, like, okay, Hudson can come off the board. I already got my quarterback. We're good there. I might try looking at some other halfbacks. I don't know if there's going to be many options here. Wide receiver. I think we're just going to have to go with, like, Harvey here, the 57. But that tight end looks like that's who we're going to go with. So I'm going to go ahead and pull these guys off. Because I don't... I only need one. Let me take this tackle off. The Rutgers is running away with him. I mean, these guys should sign, like... Knox, we might have to fight a little bit for. Let's give points to Lumpkin here. Um, let's give points back to Allen. I want to wrap him up. Hopefully than that. So I need... Still need to go after linebackers. Wide receivers, I think I'm okay with. I've got to go for halfbacks. 
have facts to him because I don't really want these guys. So I will do that though in between episodes. So starting from the next one, we will touch base on recruiting again. I'll iron out this board. It's looking pretty good. Hopefully at the end of the next episode, we should be able to sign a handful more of players. We can sign a full class of 25, but they're all going to be one star. So we're going to have the number 126 class no matter what happens from here. So don't think that we're going to have some good recruiting classes because I'm signing these people I want. But hopefully, I don't. we're not going to win a game this year. I don't think we're going to win a game because these were our two most winnable games. I scheduled hard teams. Like the only chance we got now was BlackRock at the end of the year. Everyone else, I think, is like a ranked opponent or a conference opponent. And even the conference opponents are going to be better than BlackRock is right now. So we're through the easy games. I think we're going to go all in 12. And that's okay. And we'll have a new Joey Bean starting next year, but we'll have a decent team. Because we already got our quarterback. And that's the most important part. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, please be sure to hit like down below. If you want to see more from me, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell to get it delivered directly to your inbox every single time I upload. Any thoughts, suggestions, whatever you may have, leave it all down in the comment section below. Everything you leave down there, I will always respond to unless you are the trolliest of trolls. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Shane. I'm out.